When someone mentions the name EA in 2018, that verbiage is usually met with some sort of heartfelt scream about loot boxes and bad balancing within games. But unknown to most, EA has a side to them that's actually pretty cool. And that's where Faya comes in. I'm Vanilla Soup, and welcome back to Super Gaming. In this video, my goal is not to defend EA for past transgressions or change your heart about how they wronged you with the franchise you love, but rather my goal here is to help us as a community to support an awesome game that has some really awesome developers behind it, while at the same time proving to EA that the community votes with their wallet. So guys, if you end up liking this video, be sure to drop a like so we can really get this message out there about this game. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the game Faya, it's a 3D adventure-based platformer. You will play as Faya, where you will run, climb, and glide your way through a dark Nordic forest to explore its living, breathing world. One filled with secrets, legends, and mystical creatures. You will need to communicate with these creatures to help save the forest and preserve its sacredness from the outside invaders. And just going off the style, the game looks like an absolute delight. It looks like a game that will really tug on your heartstrings, similar to Journey or Ori in the Blind Forest. So I think it's safe to say that this game will give you a hard case of the feels. But other than that, it's a new and different game. The gameplay looks fun, it looks pretty. Whether it be you're adventuring around the forest or singing to a bird, there really seems to be a lot to discover within the game. But other than the game being a seemingly decent game with some cool visuals, what other reasons are there to pick this one up? A few really good reasons actually, so let's get into it. Thea is a part of the EA Originals program, and according to the EA Originals website, EA makes no profit off the EA Originals, which is nuts! EA Originals are games made from smaller developers and discovered by EA, and in good faith, these developers are given full funding and the EA publishing team, with no return of profits, with no strings attached. So basically, EA is publishing these games for the developers for free. Why would they do this? Some might say it's a marketing campaign, some say it's goodwill. I personally choose to believe it's a little bit of both. Plus, if the game turns out to sell well, this shows EA what gamers really want. And we get to prove to them that not every game has to be littered with microtransactions, so they will be pushed to make more games like this in the future. But we will come back to this point later on in the video. The game was first shown off at E3 2016, and was announced for PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. And the next year, it was announced for the Switch. Why is this a big deal? Because EA has gone on record saying numerous times how they are wary of putting their games on the Nintendo Switch. And if the fans come out of the woodworks to celebrate this awesome looking game, then EA will be more inclined to put these games on the Switch. Maybe games like Need for Speed, Battlefield, Mass Effect, and the upcoming Star Wars games. Heaven knows how bad I want a Star Wars game on the Switch! Us gamers like to use the term vote with your wallet, which is to say if you like something a company is doing, then you have the obligation to support it. And if you don't like it, the opposite is true. Don't give them your money. Well, as a call to action, now is the time to do that exact thing. Vote with your wallet. Faya is turning up to be something truly special. It will be a game that all people can enjoy for a long time to come and something truly unique and special for the gaming industry in general. So if the game looks like fun to you and you have the funds to support this game, you should do it. DO IT! JUST DO IT! Yesterday, you said tomorrow. NO! WHAT ARE YOU WAITING FOR?! DO IT! Even if you don't have a Switch, you should still consider supporting this game on whichever platform you do have. EA needs to hear from us. We need to show them that games like this are still needed in the gaming industry. Sure, loot boxes have their place in some games and are still profitable for them, which we all have feelings about that, I'm sure. But we shouldn't neglect these awesome single player experiences. But if we can show EA that these single player experiences are still relevant in 2018, I guarantee you that we will not only get more cool EA originals from them, but also more single player AAA blockbuster experiences as well. But that's it for me today guys, I really want to know what you guys think. Will you be picking up Faya? Does this game even look like fun to you? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you liked this video, again, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more super gaming. Also, if you didn't know, I have a Discord server, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram you should all join so we can continue this discussion about some awesome games. Links to all those will be posted in the description down below, so please consider checking it out. And until next time, I'll see you online. Vanilla Soup, out.